She's a war veteran, the first Hindu congresswoman, the best surfer in Congress. Tulsi Gabbard is home in Hawaii. And she's on extreme recess. Every time I come out of the water, I feel refreshed. I feel inspired. I feel motivated. And you spend a lot of time in Washington now because of your job. How important is it for you to be out here when you can be? Uh, literally every time I come home, my first stop is the ocean. I go straight home, drop my bags, put on my suit. Uh, and even if it's just for a five minute swim uh, or if it's for a surf, either way, that's my number one priority. And wash the airplane off me and get my feet back in the sand and be grounded. When you first started surfing, uh, was it kind of a boys club? And did you have to break in to prove yourself? Well, you know, I grew up with three older brothers, a uh, rough and tumble household, always competing in one way or another. So it was nothing that I wasn't used to. Went on and, you know, served in the military and, and even in politics, uh, where women are still very largely outnumbered. So. Um, in surfing or in work and in life. Uh, it's kind of the way I grew up. How are you? Lili Koilaichi and Lili Moy all over. My time serving in the Middle East on two deployments has been such a blessing in enabling me to better do my job in Washington. Uh, it's one of the major motivations that I had for running for office in the first place because I saw in Congress we had uh, fewer veterans serving than had ever served before in our nation's history. And you have people making very important decisions about where and when our troops go into battle. Do you think Congress should assert itself and play more of a role uh, when the president, whether it's George W. Bush or Barack Obama, uses military forces without approval from Congress or without seeking some kind of declaration of war? Do you think Congress is, is losing its, uh, its power in that regard? I do. I, I think that Congress uh, over the, the, the last decade, if not longer, has uh, given up more and more of its authority and, and its great responsibility of uh, making that decision of when and where our troops uh, should serve our country and, and what battles they should be fighting. It's a group when it's like a huge pair. Over the past year, we've seen a lot of problems with the VA system, a lot of uh, veterans really struggling um, to get the care that they need. Um, there's been some changes. Uh, has that been enough as far as you see it? Not, not even scratching the surface. Uh, what more needs to be done? We, we uh, were able to pass a bill just before Congress left session in August, and that bill sought to do some quick short fixes. It passed a few different policy changes that could help to reshape the VA, but really the entire VA bureaucracy needs to be overhauled uh, and completely reworked. I think one of the major problems that we've seen is a VA system that looks out first for the VA system rather than looking out for what's best for our veterans. You end up with veterans on Maui or on Kauai or on Molokai, on these different islands, who are not being reimbursed for their travel expenses, for example, to fly to Honolulu to go and see the doctor. And you end up with something that is an incredible cost to these veterans and sometimes is cost prohibitive for them to go and see the doctor and it's coming out of their pockets. It's not right. The ocean is another major concern for Hawaiians how to preserve the waters and the local economy for decades to come. My love for the ocean is coupled with a practical reality of what we see here in Hawaii, of what happens when you don't take care of our home, our earth. Uh, here in Hawaii, it's not only a beautiful ocean, but our, our place is a driver of our economy. Uh, tourism remains our number one employer. Uh, and driver of so many different things, from the big hotels to the airlines to the small businesses and the restaurants uh, who service people on every island. Once you get in the water, uh, you immediately wake up, you feel energized, uh, and I have never ever regretted getting up early to go out for a surf. Starting the day that way uh, is so positive and I think puts the, the correct outlook on the day as I go out and work for my constituents and visit with them and see what's going on in their lives and how I can try to make things better.